Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see you know uh, two commonly, widely commonly used services called you know group by and aggregations. So group by and aggregations are commonly used thing, right? So in this video, we'll see you know how we can do aggregation. So what we can do is so if you see this particular uh, file, right? So I need to aggregate based on the stock code. Which means for this particular stock code, how many items are sold? For this particular stock code, how many items are sold? A simple aggregation, right? So I'll just try to reuse the same logic here. So obviously we don't need filter here, right? Uh, so what we need to do is, so here we need to create a key comma value pair. In case if you want to do you know any kind of aggregation typically because see it's not a data frame right and when you talk about pandas data frame or sql whatever it is it's very straightforward right so here it's it's not like what you see right when you're using pandas or any other typical data frame related thing so we have to create a key comma value pair so in in our case what on top of what variable we are doing aggregation on top of stock code so stock code will be your key and the remaining values will be your you know uh, the value key comma value pair so how we'll do it it's very straightforward again beam dot map i'll say bda lambda x right the brackets i'll say x of uh, what is this 0 and 1 right x of 1 comma x right and we're not counting the whole records what we are doing is again in the combiners we discuss what is combiners right Combine a start. I'm counting same thing, but this time it's per key, not globally. It's per key. Okay. So now what I'm saying is we are creating a key, right? So this is our key. Okay. For this particular key, how many records are there? And for this particular key, seven one zero five three. How many values are there? What is the count? right and that's what we are trying to do here let me run this the result might be a little bit big because we have so many stock codes here it's running yeah did you see this these are the results right for this particular uh, stock code there are two items sold for this particular stock code one to t one items got sold right obviously you can also you know uh, aggregate based on the description description is x of 2 right let me put to here and run this it's running did you see uh john levis right this particular products you know was sold only once right like that you know you can check it a major adjustment one whatever it is right high resolution images three right this is how uh, a simple aggregation works right there we will take lot more examples and see so currently we have seen only per key we also have an option called per element right all those things we will see it in our upcoming videos so hope you enjoyed this video and you understand how a simple aggregation works so yeah stay tuned there are few more videos coming and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you